Is it the right time to buy or sell Verizon stock? In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into Verizon. Our initial report was published on our website on Wednesday, October 25, 2023. And now, we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Take your trading decisions to the next level with our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since October 25, 2023, our system has identified Verizon as a sell candidate, with a score of minus 1.71. Now, let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. We'll continue to closely monitor this evaluation to see how it unfolds in the upcoming days. The stock is currently in a falling trend in the short term, providing a potential selling opportunity. Traders can expect a reaction back towards the lower part of the trend. However, if the stock breaks up at the top trend line at $34.27, it may indicate a slower falling rate and could be the first sign of a trend shift. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a potential minus 5.61% change expected over the next three months. The possible return ranges between minus 14.79% and minus 3.99%. In terms of the 12-month trend, there is a projected minus 17.92% change over the next 12 months. The potential return ranges between minus 28.78% and minus 12.56%. This suggests a price range of $24 to $29.46 after a year. Our latest update for Verizon brings a significant headline, Verizon stock downgraded from hold slash accumulate to sell candidate after Wednesday trading session. On the last day, Wednesday, October 25, 2023, the Verizon stock price experienced a decline of 1.78%, dropping from $34.30 to $33.69. Throughout the trading day, the stock fluctuated by 2.99%, hitting a low of $33.61 and a high of $34.61. Although the stock has fallen in 6 of the last 10 days, it has still managed to maintain a 7.09% increase over the past 2 weeks. Interestingly, the volume also decreased on the last day, which is usually a positive indicator as volume tends to follow the stock. Specifically, the trading volume dropped by 26 million shares, with a total of 31 million shares being bought and sold, amounting to approximately $1.03 billion. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price the stock reached was $44.73, while the lowest was $30.14. Currently, the price stands at 24.68%, or $11.04, below the 52-week high. Furthermore, it is 45.85%, or $28.53, below the all-time high recorded on December 20, 2019, when the price peaked at $62.22. Analyst Ratings On Wednesday, October 25, 2023, Barclays upgraded VZ with an overweight grade. On Thursday, October 5, 2023, Deutsche Bank gave VZ a hold grade. On Tuesday, August 29, 2023, Citigroup upgraded VZ with a buy grade. On Monday, August 21, 2023, Citigroup maintained a neutral grade for VZ. On Monday, August 21, 2023, Morgan Stanley upgraded VZ with an overweight grade. Analysts have given Verizon stock a general rating of strong buy. They have assigned a strong buy rating to the P-E ratio and the price to book. In terms of return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a rating of neutral. Let's analyze the signals for Verizon stock. The stock currently has buy signals from both short and long-term moving averages. This is a positive indication for the stock's future performance. However, it's important to note that there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals. 
Here, the long-term average is above the short-term average. In case of corrections downwards, the stock will find support at $32.16 and $32.52. If the stock breaks below these levels, it will issue sell signals. On the other hand, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. This adds to the positive outlook for the stock. However, there have also been some negative signals that may influence the stock's short-term development. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Tuesday, October 24, 2023. Since then, the stock has fallen by minus 1.78%. It is expected to continue falling until a new bottom pivot is found. It's worth noting that the volume of trading fell along with the price during the last trading day. This reduces the overall risk, as volume tends to follow price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence indicator is giving a buy signal. Pivots indicate a sell signal two days ago. Bollinger bands suggest a buy signal one day ago. The short-term moving average shows a sell signal seven days ago. The long-term moving average indicates a buy signal three days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages shows a buy signal 24 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see the following signals. The short moving average gives a buy signal three days ago. The long-term moving average also gives a buy signal three days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages suggests a buy signal 159 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us to find more signals. Let's talk about support, risk, and stop loss for Verizon. When it comes to Verizon, there's a key level of support at $33.55. This means that when the stock price reaches this point, it's likely to rebound and present a buying opportunity. So, if the support level is tested, we can expect an upward reaction. It's important to note that Verizon is usually traded at a good volume, which indicates a healthy level of market interest. Additionally, the stock tends to experience minor daily changes, meaning the risk involved is considered to be low. Looking at recent data, we can see that the stock moved $1.01, 2.99%, between its daily high and low. This shows that there's some fluctuation, but it's within a manageable range. Over the past week, the stock has displayed an average daily volatility of 2.5%. This gives us an idea of how much the stock price can potentially vary on a daily basis. Before we explore potential trading levels for Verizon, let's start by discussing some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its earnings per share. A lower P-E ratio could indicate limited expectations for the company's future or an undervalued stock, which might present a buying opportunity. Moving on, the next earnings report for Q4 2023 is scheduled for January 23, 2024. Now, let's analyze some potential day trading levels for Verizon. If the stock shows an upward trend, the first resistance level for Verizon is at $34.04. If you don't currently own any shares, it might be wise to wait for the stock to surpass this level before considering a position. However, if you already hold the stock, this could be a suitable level for swing trading. On the other hand, if the stock experiences a decline, it will encounter its first support level at $33.55. If this support level holds, it could present a favorable entry point, indicating a potential rebound in the future. The average rating for Verizon from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. On October 12, 2023, Venkatesh Vandana made an insider purchase of 83,589 shares of Phantom stock, unitized. On October 12, 2023, Stillwell Mary Lee conducted an insider purchase of 50,937 shares of Phantom stock, unitized. On October 12, 2023, 
Skiadas Anthony T. conducted an insider purchase of 122,772 shares of Phantom Stock, unitized. On October 12, 2023, Silliman Craig L. conducted an insider purchase of 297,786 shares of Phantom Stock, unitized. On October 12, 2023, Sumpath Saumian Arayan conducted an insider purchase of 188,076 shares of Phantom Stock, unitized. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we have calculated the insider power to be positive with a ratio of 48.960. Overall, insiders have purchased 463,588 shares and sold 152,986 shares in the last 100 trades. Unfortunately, we have a negative evaluation for this stock and it's important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is Verizon stock a good buy? Verizon currently holds several negative signals, which lead us to believe that its performance will likely remain weak in the near future. As a result, we have a negative evaluation of this stock. Additionally, Based on recent technical analysis, we have downgraded our previous conclusion from a hold slash accumulate to a sell candidate due to some minor weaknesses in the overall picture. However, after analyzing the volatility and movements in the last trading day, our systems indicate that the current price is undervalued. Looking ahead to Thursday, October 26, we anticipate Verizon to open up by $0.278 and begin trading at $33.97. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By using this information, you acknowledge and assume responsibility for your own investment decisions. We'd love to hear your opinion on our current view of the stock. Feel free to comment below and share your thoughts. What target do you have in mind for this stock? Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay updated. We hope you find success in your trading endeavors and have a wonderful day, courtesy of the entire team here at Stock Invest.